Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your new love reading. This takes a look for all you single Sagittarians out there. Um, what your next love interest might look like, dare I say true love, <laughs> but what your next love interest will look like, be like, behave like, things like that. Um, normally I don't shuffle on camera because it messes with the sound and the cloth, but it's a habit, so oopsie. <laughs> um, this is a general reading. It starts off general. It gets specific because I do clarify. I'm only going to clarify a few cards, though, where it makes sense in this spread. Um, so anyway, check your moon rising and being assigned for a more well-rounded picture. And there's also other readers out there that do this as well. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Don't force it. It doesn't sound like you. Don't force it. All right, Sagittarius, look at that. You are ready. You're ready. You have an open heart. You are ready to let love in. Awesome. That will be a good thing. That's going to be needed, right? You can't have a closed off heart if you're looking for love. So we got four of cups, sorry, four of pentacles upright, star upright, three of swords upright, don't panic, ace of wands reversed, chariot upright, eight of pentacles reversed. Okay, panic. No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so the general reading. Okay, so your future new love or true love is going to be somebody that is probably very good with money. Um, they're going to be quite conservative. This is an earth sign, Sagittarius, so it very well could be a Sagittarius, Sagittarius Capricorn, um, Virgo, or Taurus, prominent in their chart, if not their sun sign. Um, and this is someone that uh, is, might be conservative emotionally too, but they're very, um, probably very stable, very good with money, very good with figuring out uh, complex problems, like taking the long view on things. Okay, um, the attraction looks like it's going to be probably instantaneous. Like you're going to see them and just know like, oh my gosh, this is what I've been waiting for. Looks like it's going to be pretty instant. <laughs> um, this person will be recovering from a broken heart. Okay, so just keep that in mind. They're going to be probably healing, nursing a broken heart. And oh, this came up in um, Aries also. The they're going to want to move slowly. So while you're like ready, you are ready. You're ready. It's going to be right there. You're going to probably need to take it slow with them or be willing to wait and just kind of take it at their pace because they're, you know, they're going to be nursing this broken heart here. Look at that. You are ready. And the nice thing about this card, this could be cancer. This could be Aquarius cancer. Okay. Um, the nice thing about this is that it shows you considering both sides. It shows you this is a card about working together or, or marshalling dual forces to for, for victory, basically. So this shows an adaptability and a flexibility on your part. Um, it shows like you being willing to consider all sides, if not both sides, just whatever for an argument or just just good problem solving skills, good um, life skills. Like you're just you are so ready. Oh, my gosh. So you got this cup of love here. You got the victory card, the chariot, which is cancer. This could be cancer. Um, you got the Aquarius, the wish card. And the only issue would be that they might be a little heartbroken still. They're nursing a broken heart and to take things slow. But you're you are ready mentally and emotionally to consider another person's perspective and, and their needs and wants and yay, yay. <laughs> you're probably going to meet this person at work um, or through work, which I'm finding is quite common actually. Um, this could be <clears throat> somebody that is not for some of you it's almost like somebody got passed over for a promotion or something or they're not they're not living their best life they're not this is not where they want to be so that might be why they're like okay i'm having to kind of conserve also because this is not the job that i want and i'm going to be making some changes 
So they're probably not at the job that they want. They've got bigger plans than that. They, they might be quite perfectionistic. So um, at least when it comes to work, like they, their work ethic might be, and I know this is reverse. Some of you were like, huh, that's rever reverse. Well, yeah, this could be because they're, they're, dare I say, looking for a job. But whatever they're doing, it's not what they feel like is their life purpose or what they want to do. They, they've got their eye on bigger and better things. So, and it could be that they might be a little frustrated with where they're at. Like they feel like maybe they're, um, they're just going through the motions. It's not really challenging them and it's not really what they want to do for the rest of their lives. It's just in the interim. And that might be why they're like, okay, I got work, you know, squared away right now. I'm, I'm really wanting to find that love interest and settle down or at least see where that goes, you know? All right, so let's clarify this broken heart here. What's up with this heartache? You know, just on the off chance for some of you, this could also be somebody that has um, issues with their heart. Just saying, physical issues. Just saying. Oh. Okay. So yeah, they they're um, they were not their last relationship. It was uh, either one sided or they are just they were not considered or valued in their last relationship. It's probably a lot of fighting. Um, just not not good. Not heading in the same direction. Not working together. Maybe like I said, a lot of fighting, a lot of bickering, and it was a very um, it was a shakedown to the core. The breakup was a very messy breakup. So they're probably, yeah, they're going to need to move slow. And you're all about like, hey, I want to, you know what I mean? But you just you're going to need to move slow for them is all. And that's probably why they're, they're kind of passionless about their job possibly because they, they might still be dealing with this so they don't have a lot to give in the job department or it's like the job is the lowest priority right now because it, it's all about you know their their mental health and just kind of getting over their heartache and that lost love and that could be why <laughs> duh if they're still dealing with the fallout of this that could also be why oh okay i need to you know hold back and um take things slow because they're going to be slow moving anyway but if they're still nursing a broken heart you don't want to be getting in the way of that you don't want to circumvent that because then what if that comes back to bite you guys in six months you know when they circle back around to unresolved issues and you're like wait i didn't do that and they're like well i still need to process it and you're you know what i mean so okay let's clarify this right here this eight of pentacles reversed yeah, they're not really happy. They've got a lot of ideas about what they want to do, but they're just not really happy in their present situation, their present working situation. Some of them, I know some of you are like, oh my God, it's probably somebody not working. It very well could be somebody in between jobs or at least that got let go or whatever, but it feels like they're working just not to their full potential. Like it's not a job that their heart's in really. And they're not very happy at their job and they've got bigger and better ideas, but they have to, for whatever reason, they're stuck at the job that they're at right now and they have to be careful and conservative about money and about um, their their choices at the job right now okay all right so I think that's I'm just gonna leave it like that because I feel like these are the only two where I was like what I feel like these two are, are these four are self-explanatory let's get some Oracle cards here that's always fun God Aries I think I talked for like you know 15 minutes because it was I kept getting it was it was layered this feels pretty straightforward for you Sagittarius oh my god <laughs> look at that heaven on earth okay so you know that could go in line with the, this right here you really love love and you're you probably make a very good partner because you're very giving and you consider the other person and it would be you know, finding this next person looks like it's going to be, it's going to feel like heaven on earth for you. I mean, honestly, it's, it, life is what you make it right. And you're very good at, um, turn that one over in a minute. Cause it fell out. You're you, when you're in it, you're in it. And for, even though this person wants to go slow and they're going to be dealing with a heartache, um, it, it doesn't look like it's going to encumber things much because it looks like you, you both like, look at this, the, the attraction is going to be instant. <laughs> so, um, 
It looks like you both are going to be exactly what each other's looking for. Hmm. Yeah, so this person that you're going to, you know, it's funny. It looks like you're going to meet them through work, though. I mean, and yet they're not going to be really happy at the job. They're just, they've got their eye on something bigger. Hmm. All right, this just fell out. I'm going with it. Look at the, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is about, um, okay, so just saying that this echoes this right here, taking it slow, because this is all about somebody that's got nothing but time. You know, they're just leisurely waiting for the right time to come um, and not in a hurry. So this, that, this echoes that, that taking it slow. Got all the time in the world to create that heaven on earth. This also came out in the beginning. So that is about relationships with other people. Um, it's about how they come and go and vary in importance in our lifetime in importance in our lifetime and it could be that you might be kind of a gentle reminder or not that you need to say anything but you might really help put this heartbreak into perspective for um, this person that you meet because right now in dealing with the heartbreak because it's got the emotional layer to it it's bigger than life and it's all about putting it into perspective so that instead of it being so much at the forefront as their interest in you grows it will merely become part of a collage in the background instead of like right here in the forefront you know what i mean so just saying you're, you're probably going to be a very nice balm for them like a just a salve for their heartbreak and they're kind of just this dare i say passionless because they're dealing with the heartbreak they're not really happy at the job you know and then all of a sudden they meet you and it's just like it's just it's everything their life is not it's kind of cool it's kind of cool little love story here <laughs> I'm pull this one yet one more you know just saying um this right here too it could be all right if we're looking at wands as a timing card wands are weeks this is an ace, which is one week, just saying. But, but um, it could also be that uh, this is, I can pull a timing card too. I was going to say this could be summer in the first week in summer, just saying. But I could pull a timing card. These are still really slickery. Oh, yes, this is a good one. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. Yes, part of that is waiting. Um, part of that is, I'm not saying being support and, you know, end up being a doormat and emotional. No, I don't, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, um, oftentimes when things can be so immediate and instant, it's really easy to say whatever in the moment and then, you know, you know the drill. So loving is a choice after a while. At first it's like that passion and infatuation, but that's only one part of love, right? So it becomes a choice and how you can show that you love is you is through your actions by choosing every day to be with and for that person you know so this is and something tells me the sages that i'm reading for honestly you're very good at that because look at this you are ready for love you're ready for it you got this instant attraction going and the advice is to slow down but you got you're very partner minded you're you're ready for this partnership because you're really wanting to consider somebody else you're wanting to make space for somebody else in your life and you are this is probably an MO for a lot of you is to show your love and your commitment and your devotion. Um, you know, you might say it, but there's also the actions to back it up, which for a person like this right here, that's going to be like, well, I mean, look at this. <laughs> heaven on earth. They're going to, they're, they're just going to eat that up. And who wouldn't, honestly, to be loved and cherished and adored and shown that every day. Woo, awesome. Okay, so um, timing. I mentioned timing. Let's see here. Just for, just for funsies. I was gonna say something in giggles, but let's keep it PG here. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Okay. So we got a king. Mm. That's the. Let's see. Pentacles. Pentacles is. What season is Pentacles? Pentacles is winter. So we got the king and winter. That's the third day. So that's going to be the, hold on a minute. Oh, 
okay, that, you know what that is? The court, um, kings are the transitional week between seasons. So right around the turn of winter to spring, this could very well take shape for you, Sagittarius. Just saying. The, the upright or um, downright position, or the reverse doesn't matter here. I'm looking at the suit and the, the element. So uh, we could be looking at the last week, the transitional time between winter and spring. Awesome. Okay. Whoopsie. So uh, Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. I hope it was helpful and interesting, and I hope to see you um, in the next reading. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.